Greetings everyone. In this video we are going to do the sum number 6 of exercise 2.1. The statement of 6th sum is what should be added to 6 is to 3 by 4 to get 9. That means what we will add into 6, uh, into 6 is to 3 by 4 to get 9. So let us suppose that we will add x. 6 is to 3 by 4. We are going to add x into it to get 9. So here we can find the value of x by subtracting 6 is to 3 by 4 from the 9. So this can be written as x is to 9 minus 6 is to 3 upon 4. Now this become the quite similar as the fifth sum where we are finding the difference between the two fractional number. So what will be my first step? First of all, I will write this 9 as 9 upon 1 and this mixed fraction can be written into the form of improper fraction. How we can write 4 multiplied by 6 then 3 will be added into it divided by 4. So this step can be written as x is equal to 9 minus 24 plus 3, 27 upon 4. Okay. So 9 upon 1 minus 27 upon 4. So first of all, we will find what LCM of 1 and 4. LCM of 1 and 4. That will be equals to what? This will be again equals to 4. 1 and 4. Okay. So now the 9 upon 1 can be written as what? Multiplied by 4 upon 4. This will be equals to 9 4 is 36 upon 4. And the term 27 upon 4 can be written as multiplied by 1 upon 1. Because it is already having the denominator as 4. So we multiplied it with 1 only. So 27 upon 4. That means this term can be written as 9 upon 1. We will write 36 upon 4 minus 27 upon 4 okay here these two terms become the like terms so x minus x will be equals to 36 minus 27 upon 4 which implies us the value of x will be 36 minus 27 that will be equals to 9 9 upon 4 so the required value of x is 9 upon 4 that means if i will add 9 upon 4 into 6 is to 3 upon 4, my required answer will be equals to 9. So, this is all about the sixth sum of exercise 2.1. Students, now next sum is sum number 7. The statement is what should be subtracted from 10 to get 3 is to 3 upon 4. Okay, that means what we have to subtract from 10. If I will subtract x from 10, Okay, and uh, remaining term will be 3 is to 3 upon 4. So, in the first step, let's convert this value into the improper fraction. 10 minus x is equals to 4 3s are 12. 12 plus 3, 15. Okay, 15 upon 4. So, now what I have to subtract from the 10 to get 15 upon 4, that means I am going to subtract x over here. So, now uh, in the next step, what we, we are going to do, uh, let me shift this x on the right hand side so that it becomes positive value and on the left hand side I will shift this 15 upon 4 so it will becomes the negative term 10 minus 15 upon 4 will be equals to x that means if I will subtract 15 upon 4 from the 10 then I will get the required value that I want to subtract from the 10 to get the value 3 is to 3 upon 4 so again 10 can be written as 10 upon 1 so as you all know that now LCM of 1 and 4 will be equals to what? LCM of 1 and 4 that will be equals to 4. So the terms can be written as 10 upon 1 multiplied by 4 upon 4 will be written as 40 upon 4 and 15 upon 4 will be multiplied by 1 upon 1. Again, it will be equals to 15 upon 4. So now these two terms becomes the like terms. So the next step will be at the place of 10 upon 1. Can I write it as 40 upon 4 minus 15 upon 4 which will be equals to x. Okay. So this becomes the, these two terms becomes the like terms. Having the same denominator, we will directly subtract them equal to x when 40 uh, minus 15 15 is subtracted from 40 this will be equals to 25 upon 4 okay which is equal to x that means 
the required answer is 25 upon 4 so from 10 we have to subtract 25 upon 4 to get the value as 3 is to 3 upon 4